Hello, this is student meteorologist TJ Gungbo, and today I will be showing you hashtag EES431 in a nutshell. EAS431 is now a class that is based off of social media, and this is where students can relay weather facts and general information to the general public. We follow two main acronyms in this class, and that is GUT and ABT. GUT means, is it good, useful, or true? Because we always want to send out useful and true information to the general public, and not false because that will mislead them. And ABT is and but therefore. Are we telling a story to keep them interested, or are we just boring the general public? We want to make sure that we keep them interested and have different things throughout there to keep you going and reading through our posts. In EAS 431, students are also assigned daily tasks, and these tasks consist of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram posts. These are supposed to be done daily, but not on the weekends or on holidays. And here is when students just post fun facts or pictures or any interesting weather that is happening that time. And each student is assigned a certain day of the week so that the same person doesn't do it every day. Students are also assigned Time Lapse Tuesdays. Time Lapse Tuesdays are when students are assigned two Tuesdays out of the semester and they have to post a time lapse that they have taken from anywhere around where they're staying or if they want to travel to where there is a storm, for example. They could travel as long as they stay safe and take a nice time lapse and each student rotates each week so not the same person is doing it week after week after week. Another thing that students are assigned are the student productions. These are assigned to the students at the beginning of the semester and they have to complete seven of these. And these are basically under five minute videos where they, the students will relay information to the general public such as the fantasy football forecast, NASCAR forecast, past weather with Sam, and many other different things that can keep the general public interested in what we are throwing out at them each week. Other requirements for this course are the Weather Bell podcast and live events. The Weather Bell podcast is where you make a podcast using the Weather Bell graphics and relay that out to the general public. And the live events is where you can use Periscope or Facebook Live and present out to the general public live, giving them the newest weather information that's come out. For example, students last week were covering the flooding whenever we had that cutoff low over our region, and they did a very well job going over what we still have to come precipitation-wise and what we already had. Thank you for watching this week's program. I'm student meteorologist TJ Gunkel. Have a great weekend.